Once again, welcome to Show You How To, a channel where we talk about business and beauty. So today we are going to get right into it. But before I get started, I want to say that if you are a cosmetologist, a potential cosmetologist, and you are going to take your test down below, I have over a hundred questions, very short videos that you can watch in order for you to pass the test. I have gotten great feedback on the questions there directly from the book. So please feel free to take advantage of that. So today I have a few common questions that are asked about business. These questions are covered all throughout my channel in various videos, but I'm putting it all in one video for anyone who needs it. And I also did my research online and these are common questions that I kept seeing coming up on all social media platforms. So, and now once again, I have covered this on the channel. Let's just get into it. So the first question is, uh, do I need a business plan? I do have a video on this. Do I need a business plan? I think this is, it is important. I would say absolutely yes, you need a business plan. I think um, I compared it to an outline. I would say it's even a resume for your business. It just kind of describes your business. Um, and it's really good to have to kind of keep you focused on your vision, your mission of your business. It doesn't have to be 100 pages. It doesn't have to be 10 or 5 pages. It could be a one-page business plan. They do have that. And I do think it's important for your business to have a business plan. If you do need funding, of course, you do need a business plan because, you know, um, lenders, people who you're going to borrow from is definitely going to want to see your plan for your business. So the second question that was very common online is what business structure should I use. So what business structure, when they're talking about business structure, they're talking about LLC corporation, they're talking about um, uh, a S corp and so on and so forth. So what business structure you should use? I think it's solely up to you what you feel is best for your business. A lot of people depend it. Um, it's depending on, you know, how they want to be taxed. I think overall, um, most small business and this is just this is just my opinion this is not business advice whatsoever so take it with a grain of salt but most small business um some of the business that you see operating online they don't have um an llc and usually they get it after there's a popular young lady on youtube she's really good she gives really great information um and she didn't get her llc until after her business started making um six figures that's when she got her llc uh so i i i think a lot of people get away with not having it especially if you don't have the money to file for your llc um, but I think at some point, a small business will, you know, need an LLC at most, you know, um, eventually if your business grow, you can have a corporation in different business structures, but I do think eventually you're going to get an LLC. So why not file for that? Just know that there's different fees that come with that. And that varies from state to state. So that is one question that I saw that was online, like, which one is better? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it depends on your finances and how you want to be taxed. So another question that I saw online is how to grow my target audience. How do I grow my target audience? And that is a common question that we see online. This is something that I'm doing myself. I'm learning how to grow my target audience. So I'm by no means an expert on this. Um, but I will say that my audience is people I don't know. I don't, I didn't start my social media off with my Facebook and the friends that I had already. I was very, I was very, um, determined not to do that. Um, so what I started a whole different platform, deleted everything and just wanted to connect with people that I don't know. If people that I do know connect, that's absolutely fine. You know, I love you guys. But I wanted to build it from the ground up. I didn't want to buy followers. I didn't want to do that because buying followers is not going to translate into dollars, you know? So um, I think it's important to, the way to build your audience is consistency. I think that is key. Consistency is key. I think we live in a time 
and I say this a lot, and maybe this is an old rule, an old principle, but I feel like consistency is more valuable than talent. (laughs) I feel like consistency is more valuable than um, talent. I have worked in many different places and I've seen people who were consistent they actually elevated more than the people that actually have talent because you can have talent and you can be lazy. So being consistent is so, so important. Um, And I'll just leave you guys with this. I remember watching recently um, a clip from Jackie Ina and she said it took her, she's like a famous popular YouTuber, famous makeup artist. If you don't know her, she's, she's great. So she said it took her 10 years to build the platform that she has and to actually see, you know, the labor of her hard work, 10 years. And I see that in other sectors of business, two people will tell you the same thing. So you have to just be consistent. We live in this era where everything is like microwavable, but you don't know how long it took those people to actually get there. You're just seeing their come up, right? So being consistent is key. Continue to post every day. Continue to come up with new strategies. I think that is how you build your target audience. And of course, there's different stuff too. Um, But that is the, the key thing is consistency and also identifying your target audience, who they are. So is you are you targeting, do you have a luxury product? Do you have a, a product that is fairly priced? So uh, you have to figure out where those people shop. You know, you have to figure out what they like. Those are key things in identifying your target audience. But consistency will be all of those rules out any day. Being consistent is key. And that's something I'm working on because I told you guys how I feel about social media. So, yes, that is a common question that I saw online all throughout social media. And the final question is, how do I price my products. That's another common question. So the key thing is, which I placed in another video as well, the key thing is uh, buying your product for a low cost, which is what is the cost of entry for this industry. Buying it at a low cost. If I am selling earrings and I am selling earrings, I want to buy those earrings for two to three dollars and I want to mark them up to 10, 15, 20 dollars, right? So you want to at least make back, make you all, you want to at least double your product price, right? So what if your product costs $4, then you will sell it for $8. Some people triple and quadruple their numbers. So so that is the main principle. So if you buy a product for $7, do not sell it for $12 because you are not really making a profit because then when you count shipping and, uh, you know, taxes and so many different things, you're going to end up really losing in that game. So... Those are the common questions that I see online that people ask. And I answer a lot of those questions in my previous video, but I just wanted to put everything together in this video. I hope this was absolutely helpful. And I thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave it below. Please comment. Please um, let me know if you want to talk about anything specific. Thank you guys. Oh my God, y'all, y'all, don't leave yet. I forgot to mention this. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot to mention this. Oh Lord, I'm not good with promoting myself, child. But I have an ebook. I have an ebook, which is a business planner, which you're looking at right now. And it is to just help you if you are starting a business or if you already have a business. It is going to be a guide on the things that you need to do. I can't believe I forgot to tell you guys about it. And I am going to have that available for you guys extremely soon sooner than you know and uh, um there is more to come but yes uh, i have help on the way send some help lord all right thank you guys for watching bye